back to Critical Action. Uh, my name is Bill Cardozo, and we just received our iPad uh, Pro 9.7 inches, and we're going to be showing you some extra images of it. Uh, iFixit is doing a complete teardown, so we'll be able to see every single component inside this device. And uh, we're going to post a link here on how to get uh, to that uh, to that video, to that teardown. Uh, today we're going to be using the uh, TrueView Prime S to collect these images. And we're going to do that because it has, as you can see here, a very large sensor. It's a 12 inch by 10 inch sensor. So we'll be able to show an image of the whole iPad in one shot. And we're also going to post here in this video some images of previous iPads. So we'll be able to compare how the iPad Pro that Apple just released uh, differentiates from previous versions of, the, uh, of this device. Uh, we also did a teardown with x-rays of the new iPhone SE and here's a link on how to get to that uh, teardown. Uh, it was pretty cool, we also did a comparison of the SE uh, and look at images of the 5 and the 5S and you can tell they look pretty much the same. It's very impressive how consistency how much consistency uh, we found uh, on those three devices. So anyway, uh, we're going to now open the box, uh, see what's inside, and then take some extra images. All right, so here's the uh, box for the iPad Pro. Let me open it up now and let's see what's inside. As usual, very nice packaging by Apple. You can tell those guys spend a good amount of time thinking about this. And there we go. Wow, it's beautiful. Nice wrapping of the iPad. So here's the iPad Pro. This is a 9.7 inch version. Uh, that's the camera. FaceTime camera is here. And you can see the two LEDs for, um, for the flash. And inside the box, you also have the power connector the lightning cable and uh, the manual. To give an idea how the iPad Pro 9.7 differentiates uh, from the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and the iPad mini 4, here's a photo of uh, all three iPads and their uh, x-ray images. And as you can see, the iPad, uh, the smaller iPad Pro required quite a bit of changes. Uh, the batteries are aligned horizontally instead of vertically like the iPad the larger iPad Pro, the 12.9, and um, unlike the uh, Mini, the iPad Pros, uh, both of them have uh, four speakers, two on the bottom and two on the top, as you can see here in the X-ray images. Here's the Apple logo overlaid with the charging circuit for the batteries. You can see on the bottom right of the iPad the large speaker, and uh, that wire there is, is a connection to the main antennas uh, embedded on the case uh, of the iPad. Uh, this is the FaceTime camera. And on the top left corner of the iPad, you see uh, the speaker and uh, the auto jack and another wire connecting to yet another antenna inside the, uh, the iPad. The top right corner of the iPad is quite busy. It has a power button there on the top right, a large speaker, uh, several microphones. You can see one on the left of the, the iSight camera and one on the right of the iSight camera. And uh, right below the camera you have uh, the LEDs for uh, the flash photography. Here's the large A9 processor. And finally on the bottom left of the iPad Pro 9.7 inches you have the last of the four speakers and yet another antenna connection. Thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions at creativelection.com. Play what you want.